kids, welcome back to Bobble Pop Kids. Well, I'm at it again. This is experiment number four. It pretty much seems like these days, cutting up squishies and seeing what is inside is my hobby. I have six new ones to do today and woo, this one is unbelievable. But here it is, the big one. This is the squishy I am most curious about. I have never seen any kind of squishy ball this big in my entire life. It is so heavy. I think it's over like 10 pounds. Look at it. It's so, so heavy. I can barely hold it with just one hand. It's like a weight <laughs> or like a dumbbell. I don't know. And I kind of feel like there's these little teeny squishy balls inside, but I have no clue. We are going to cut this baby open. When I pick it up, I feel like I'm picking up a football or the heaviest, but no, it's definitely heavier than a basketball. It is so, so big Ooh, and so relaxing. <laughs> I could squish it all day. It's such a shame that I'm going to rip it open in a minute. Maybe I'll get another one after this. Boop. Besides the big happy face, I have a bunch more squishies. We're going to be cutting open and seeing what's in there. And they are really cool. Starting with this one, look at this thing. <laughs> it is so crazy looking. It looks like a face. It looks like the weirdest, weirdest thing ever. It's so cool. <laughs> it is like this black kind of fuzzy material. I can't even describe the material. Almost like a velvet. And then it's got this face in there. It looks like a face in a stone wall. It's got a nose and the mouth just moves. Crazy, it's kind of spooky. Yeah, so we are definitely gonna be cutting this one open. I don't know, it kind of feels rubbery. Maybe slime, ah! <laughs> that face is so, so scary. We also have another mesh one. Ooh, look at this. I love the noise it makes. So, so weird. This looks like it's got ketchup or some kind of a red paint inside. Woo, cannot wait to see what's in there. What else, what other squishes do we have today? Ooh, this one's kind of cool. It is so super sticky. It's almost like a piece of slime, but I'm so curious to just like cut in the middle of it and see if it leaks out or if it's solid. It's like a little happy face. So many weird things to cut open. Why not a brain? Ew, look at this squishy brain. It feels so, so weird. It's kind of cold to the touch. I don't know why. Ew, it's so gross looking. Ugh. Final squishy toy in the experiment is going to be a frozen fashion. <laughs> the good part about this is I've collected every single one of these. It's kind of sad to cut up one of these little cute characters. But it's going to be super fun. Maybe it'll be Elsa. Mom. Yes. So finally, the moment has come. Ever since I got my hands on this thing, I wanted to see what was inside. <laughs> I played with it for a couple minutes, and I feel so bad to just rip it open. But we have to see what's in here. If I was to guess, I would say there's like little Orbeez in here. That's what it looks like. It's got all those little bubbles. It feels like that. And the outer part of this is like a super thick yellow balloon. I mean, seriously, let's just compare. This is a regular size squishy ball. This is this one. I can't even lift it. And the funny thing is these are usually called like stress relievers. <laughs> this is for a ton of stress, boy. You could just rip your hands in this all day and <laughs> maybe calm yourself down. But it's time to chop it up. Whoop! And before I start, just like I always say, you guys, I'm an adult and I'm doing this to experiment, see what's in here. But this is not how we play with toys. And if you are gonna do something like this at home, please make sure you have an adult or parent because the scissors are super sharp. You never know what's gonna be in here. So just make sure you're not doing this alone. Alrighty, so here we go. Moment has come. I am scared. It's gonna be a mess here because whatever is in this thing, there's tons of it. 
So I'm gonna use my regular technique. I am gonna pinch the corner and see. Ooh, so nervous. Ooh, listen to the air coming out of there. Whoa, <gasps> there it is. What did I tell you? Whoa, <laughs> it is filled with clear Orbeez. Look at that. Ah, look at this, they just keep falling out of there. It looks so, so cool. Kind of looks like diamonds. <laughs> it looks like a bunch of diamonds popping out of that little happy face. Unbelievable, I can't believe it. So, so many. Woo! So pretty much my whole entire table is filled with Orbeez clear ones and there's about a thousand more in there. Just keep pouring it out. This. Oh, <laughs> these things are flying. I swear there's like a million Orbeez here right now. How they all fit inside of that yellow balloon, I will never ever know. Uh, it is like an Orbeez waterfall. Look at this, they're falling off the table. I have like a pound on my feet. <laughs> and they just keep flying everywhere. Wow. What a mess, but I think it was well worth it. This is great. Oop, and there's still a few left. Let's pop them out of there. In the last couple days, I've cut open a lot of squishies, but this is just something I've never seen. I could never believe anything like this. They are everywhere. I love it. Alrighty guys, so mystery solved. Inside of this giant happy face balloon, we had about a million, maybe two million Orbeez. And these are not the regular Orbeez. They feel like they're jelly or glue. The regular ones are like filled with water, but these are super sticky and slimy. So, so weird. <laughs> I cleaned most of them up, but I kept a couple. Let's see what's in here. These are definitely not the regular water-filled Orbeez. They feel like they're made of some kind of glue or jelly. Hmm. They feel like a normal Orby, yet they don't. They're much more sticky than the water ones. Slippery. <laughs> I can barely catch them. Time for squishy number two. Ooh, here it is. <laughs> it makes the coolest noise. Oh, I can play with this all day. It's just mesmerizing. Every time you push it, it has all these little bubbles. Kind of looks like red grapes. Alrighty, so the time has come to see what is in here. First up, I have to cut off this little mesh wrapper on here. Ew, kind of looks gross, just this red color. Alrighty, so it is time. I'm just gonna pinch the corner and see what's in here. I wonder what color it's gonna be. Whoop, there it is. Ew! <laughs> here we go, it is red. It is so slimy, ooh. I did a blue one like this, kind of, a little bit like this one, and it was not as slimy as this. So, so cool. Whoa, <laughs> this is such a bright red. Matches my nails. And I have to say, it looks kind of scary. It looks like blood or guts. And it's so funny because sometimes with these ones, there's a different color slime and a different color little holder. 
but the pouch is red. The slime is red. Ew, look at that. Still coming out of there. Oh, I seriously can't look at this anymore. It is getting grosser by the second. It looks like a bunch of blood. I cannot take it. So now that most of this is out, I'm just going to flip it inside out and see what's going on. Ooh, ooh, it's shinier on the inside. Ah, mystery solved. We get a bunch of the stickiest red grossest slime ever. Perfect for Halloween. It looks like some fake blood. And we get one of these rubber balls. This is kind of squishy too. It's got a really, really stretchy texture. Woo! Third one up on the chopping block. And it's a good one. It's definitely as weird of a squishy as I could find. Look at that face. I guess the whole point of it is they put a face in there. Actually, you know, it kind of looks like a stone, like a rock. So that when you squish it, it has all these different expressions. The eyes are popping, the mouth is there. Who thought of this? baby too. <laughs> like a bald little baby or a little chubby guy. Alrighty, so enough squishing. Now this one is a super mystery to me because it kind of feels like rubber yet I have no clue what is in here. It's really really firm and tough. Let's do it. And for this one I think I'm going to use a different technique. Normally I get the corner and pinch it. I think I'm just going to go straight down the middle. <laughs> I am so scared. I have no clue what to expect. Ooh, it's kind of hard to do it. Oh, there we go. Whoa. Ah! What is that? Wow. <laughs> this is crazy. I cannot believe this. It looks like a piece of black licorice, like a thick black piece of licorice. This is completely, woo, completely solid. And it's kind of like a sticky rubber, plasticky material. I can't explain it, but it would have been so much better if there was like some kind of slime coming out of there. Ooze. It's really cool though. I've never seen any material like this. Looks like a giant licorice. Boop. It's almost like a, not a rubber tire material, but it's so shiny in there. It's like, looks like a piece of crystal or that black kind of black onyx, I think. I don't know what they call it. It looks like something like that. <laughs> a super, super shiny rock. It's fun to chop up though. <laughs> it's got a really rubbery feel to it. Another super awesome thing about this little squish is that the outside is like a velvety kind of fuzzy texture, but the inside is so sleek and shiny. It's like the complete opposite. I don't know what it's made of. Some kind of rubber, but some kind of like a plastic jelly rubber. What did you do to me? So, mystery solved! Inside of that squishy little face, there was some like silicone rubbery material. On to the next one. Here's the fourth one on the testing table, and it is an icky squishy brain. Ugh. <laughs> Normally a brain is like a pinkish color, but this is so real looking. It's kind of like a yellowy white. Ooh, I don't even like to touch it. And it really is a mystery of like what is inside of here. It feels like some kind of a slippery rubber, yet I feel maybe there could be some kind of ooze or slime popping out of here. That would be really cool if it did. It is now time to get my scissors and see what's going on in here. I think I'm just going to go right down the middle like I did with the other one. Ooh, it's like a crunch to it. Ugh. Ew. Ew, here is what we get. These shiny, 
brainy looking material. This looks exactly like this one. It's pretty much the same material. I'm gonna see like a silicone or something, but it's so, so soft. Ooh, I really like this one. So we get to have the right and the left side of the brain and it's weird, there's like these little bubbles in here. But it really is fun to just like squish it around. Oh. Look, I made a brain sandwich. Eee! Wouldn't it be so funny if that red bloody slime came popping out of here? There we go, mystery number four solved. Inside of this squishy brain was just some squishy rubber. Loved it. Fifth one up. Now this one is just so little and cute. To tell you the truth, it actually looks like a huge Orbi. <laughs> it's a little bit more squishier though. Ooh, super slimy. ice cube balls. <laughs> Alrighty, you know what time it is. Time to slice. Ooh. I don't know what this one. This is some kind of weird material. It's like a rubbery goo that doesn't spill and kind of leak. Stay solid. Ooh. Another mystery solved. <laughs> mystery of the squishy. Inside of this little blue happy face was some kind of solid rubbery goo. Boop. All experiment of the day, a frozen masham. Ooh, actually thinking about it, I don't want to get on our Elsa. <laughs> Maybe Sven or Kristoff. Let's open it. Who's it gonna be? <gasps> no, you have to be joking. <laughs> we have to experiment on Elsa. No. Uh, you better not do this, Bubble Pop. Let me go, let me go. Please don't cut me open and see what's inside. Yikes, I did not want to get Elsa. She's too beautiful. <laughs> this is a kind of strange fashion because it's not like water filled. The bottom is kind of open and hollow. Here is a little bit squishy. The super hard rubber, I'm thinking. Let's do it, <laughs> even though I don't want to. Here we go, oh sorry, Queen Elsa. Ooh, <laughs> this is actually the toughest material of all the squishies. I can't even cut through it. Squirted right in my eyes. You guys, I think this is filled with water. Ew. Oh, there was a little bit of water in there. And there you go. I managed to get the top of her hair off, but this is such a strong, strong texture. I cannot even get through it. We gotta try. Woo! Uh, Bubble Pop, I do not want my hair looking like this. What are you doing? I, sorry, Elsa. I did not want to give you a haircut like that. Ay, ay, ay. Well, let's just keep it going. We'll give you a shorter style. Oh, this is the mystery I feel the worst about. Look at Elsa. She's in like a billion pieces. So basically inside of this mashem, first of all, it was a super, super hard kind of rubber. There was a little teeny bit of water. That was it. Oh, I feel so bad. Mission accomplished. Experiment number four is finished. We cut open six different squishy things, found out what was inside, all sorts of stuff. But the most amazing and like mind-blowing thing was this huge happy face. It had about a million Orbeez in there. Look, they're still falling out. <laughs> There's so many. 
I also thought this red goo was amazing. Even the Elsa one, it was such a strong rubber. This face here was so weird. These look like rocks or stones. And I had so much fun doing this. Hope you enjoyed it. And we are going to have so many more fun videos coming up on the show. And if you want to subscribe to our channel, you can just click this big yellow bubble with the bubblegum machine and subscribe. Have a great day. Bye.